guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is on this ultra glittery glam new year's makeup look so if you want to know how i got this super dramatic deep glittery smoky eye look for the new year's then please do keep on watching First of all, I'm going to take the Miss Claire Eyebrow Pencil in the shade Dark Brown. So I'm just going to um, use this pencil to fill in the gaps in my eyebrows and also to shape them in the way that I want. Then I'm going to take the Pack Take Cover Concealer in the shade Honey Drop and I'm going to use that to apply it on the eyelids as a base for my eyeshadows and also to clean up around the eyebrow area to make my eyebrows look really sharp and defined. Then I'm going to take a pack concealer blending brush to blend out all of the concealer on top of the eyelids. Then I'm going to pick up my Kiko Intense Color Long Lasting Coal in the shade Black. And this is going to act as a base for my smoky eye. So I'm just going to um, uh, scribble that pencil all uh, across my eyelids and yeah, this is going to make the eyeshadow really pop. Then I'm using my ring finger to blend out the harsh edges of the kajal pencil on the eyelids. Fingers work best to um, diffuse this sort of a creamy um, product on the eyelids. Then I'm going to take the Nykaa uh, Just Wink It eyeshadow palette in the um, style Sweet Sunday. I'm going to pick up the deepest, darkest brown shade from the um, palette, which is a matte finish. And I've taken that on a tapered blending brush and I'm going to apply that right where the black um, ends on my eyelids so this is going to add a bit of transition on the eyelids then i'm going to pick up this medium toned um, matte eyeshadow on a fluffy blending brush and i'm going to blend further on top of the dark brown that I just applied on the crease and you will have to apply at least two to three shades of um, uh, any eyeshadow um, on your eyelids to make the eyeshadows look really seamless and blended. Then I'm going to take the Miss Claire um, eyeshadow in a matte black shade and I'm taking that on a flat shader brush and applying that on top of the black base that I just created. And I'm also going to take that matte black in a winged shape at the outer corners of my eyes. Then I'm going to pick up the same deepest, darkest, chocolatey brown shade on the same tapered blending brush. And I'm going to uh, blend further. gonna take the Swiss Beauty metallic liquid eyeshadow uh, in the number 06 which is like a beautiful gunmetal black um, liquid glittery eyeshadow so I'm just gonna uh, concentrate that on the centers of my um, eyelids 
what's a new year's makeup look without a glittery um, eye makeup right so i'm just going to pop that uh, on the eyelid area and this is such a great inexpensive good quality uh, liquid glitter eyeshadow again gonna go in with the tapered blending brush with the leftover dark brown and i'm gonna diffuse the edges of the glitter um, eyeshadow that i just applied then i've taken the uh, miss claire matte black eyeshadow on a tapered blending brush and i'm gonna blend that on the outer corners of my eyes to deepen the um, outer v a little bit Moving on to the face, I'm taking the Nykaa Prep Me Up Face Primer and I'm applying that on the main areas of my face and blending it out using the uh, fingertips. Then I'm going to color correct my face using the I Amsterdam Orange Color Corrector. So I'm just popping that wherever I have um, any discoloration on my face and then I'm gonna go over with a damp beauty blender to blend out all of the um, orange color corrector on my face. Then to add a bit of a glow on the face, I'm going to take the Faces Ultime Pro Metallic Glow Liquid Highlighter in the shade Champagne and I'm just going to pop that on the areas wherever I want a bit of a glow. Again, going to go in with my damp Beauty Blender and blend all of the liquid highlighter. gonna take my current favorite foundation which is the makeup revolution conceal and define full coverage foundation in the shade f 12.5 which is like a perfect match for me so i'm just applying that on my entire face again gonna use my damp beauty blender to blend out the foundation on my face this is such a beautiful full coverage foundation it just covers all your uh, problematic areas and looks really really flawless and also lasts for a really good um, period of time again uh, going with a pack um, take cover concealer to highlight my face so i'm just applying that underneath my eyes on the center of my forehead, on the center of my nose, on my cupid's bow and my chin. Then taking the pack concealer blending brush and gonna blend out all of the um, liquid highlight. Then I'm going to take the NYX Wonder Stick um, contouring stick and I'm just going to uh, chisel out my features using the contouring side. So I'm just applying that on the hollows of my cheeks, on the temples, on my forehead, um, on the sides of my nose, above my top lip and underneath my bottom lip and also chiseling out my jawline. I'm gonna go in with my Real Techniques contouring brush to blend out all of the cream contour. And before setting my face with powder, I'm taking my L'Oreal Infallible Makeup Setting Spray and spritzing that on the uh, face. And then I'm going to take my damp beauty blender and push the uh, makeup setting spray gently into my skin. And this is such a great trick to uh, make your makeup uh, 
really long lasting so it's great for um, parties and events so yeah i'm just um, locking the makeup in place then i'm going to take the bharat and doris loose powder in number 05 and a powder puff to bake uh, my face Quickly gonna finish up the eye makeup. So I'm taking the Kiko Milano um, cold pencil in the black shade again, and I'm gonna line my lower water lines and my lower lash lines. Then dipping an angled brush into the matte black eyeshadow from Miss Claire, and I'm gonna line my lower lash line using that and also gonna drag the outer corners like so in a winged shape then gonna take a pencil brush and dip it into the deepest uh, chocolatey brown uh, matte eyeshadow from the Nika palette and blend the harsh edges of the black eyeshadow that i just applied on the lower lash line and this is gonna create such a great smoky effect on the lower lash line then taking my nyx uh, matte liquid eyeliner and I'm going to create a really thin and skinny winged eyeliner on my eyes. Once that is done, I'm just going to brush off all of the powder that has been sitting on my face using a fluffy blending brush. And that baking gave me such a flawless finish to my face and also taking a bit of that same loose powder on a fluffy powder brush to set the rest of the face as well now to set the cream contour in place i'm taking the kiko milano smart color eyeshadow in the shade coco and i'm just gonna uh, set all of the areas wherever i did the cream contour I'm taking the Maybelline Fit Me blush in the shade Wine and I'm just gonna apply that to the apples of my cheeks. Then taking the Colossal Mascara from Maybelline and I'm just gonna coat my top and bottom eyelashes. And falsies are must for such kind of a dramatic, uh, glittery, glam, smoky eye look. So I'm just popping on the falsies. And then I'm going to take my Nykaa Glow Ghetto Highlighter in the shade Glitterati. And I'm going to use that to um, highlight my face. So I'm just applying that on the tops of my cheekbones. On the Cupid's bow on my chin and also on the bridge of my nose and the tip of my nose i'm using the same highlighter to highlight the inner corners of my eyes and my brow bone moving on to the lips i'm taking the kiko smart color lip liner in the shade chocolate and this is one of my favorite lip liners uh, so i'm just using that to line and slightly overdraw my lips this is such a beautiful lip liner for all dusky and dark uh, skinned women for lipstick i'm taking the lacme 9 to 5 matte lipstick in the shade brownie point which is like a pale uh, cool toned nude lipstick so I'm just applying that on my entire lips and this sort of a nude lipstick goes very very well with a deep dark black smoky eye look. Add a bit of a glossiness, I'm taking the Wet n Wild Clear Lip Gloss 
So I'm just going to pop that on the centers of my mouth to make them look really shiny and juicy. Once that is done, I'm going to go in with the setting spray once again to lock the entire makeup in place. And that is the finished glittery, glam, smoky um, eye makeup look for the New Year's. Uh, I really, really enjoyed creating this video and I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video as well. If you did, please do give this video a huge thumbs up comment and do not forget to subscribe for more such videos from me so guys this is it for today's video wish you all a very very happy new year and i shall see you all soon in the next year bye